Tommy Saudi again. A super over. Straight down the ground and they'll just get the one. And this morning it's going to be express and get back. Could he be run out? No, he's sharp enough. Two off one. It wasn't the best of deliveries, but because White looks to go straight, whenever he gets an opportunity, he looks to hit so straight, the high full toss can be quite hard to get in the middle of the bat on. Had he looked to maybe go square or more to mid-wicket, he might have had a chance there. New Zealand will use Martin Guptill, Ross Taylor and Brendan McCullum when it's their turn to bat. And it seems a long way away at this point. Here's Salvi again. Just a single. Tim Salvi. Yeah. He's calling a season's worth here. Be a few people who headed off to try and beat the crowd are wondering what all the yelling's about. <laughs> what are they still doing? People that didn't know about the super over. Especially if you're one of the people that had to queue for half the game to get in. <laughs> As you're walking, walking down the road saying, ha ha, I beat the crowd. I got my car out early. Pick up the paper tomorrow morning. But it's been a great crowd. 26,148. They got their money's worth. Here's Saudi again. Warner on strike. Oh, Southie. He doesn't have to throw it. That's fine. It's a genius. How did he stop this or did he just get in the way? I, re I reckon he, he could bat too. Maybe they sent him at the bat. He's trapped that. White wanted to get the strike. Warner wasn't prepared to risk it. So he's bowled three balls for three runs. Warner has three balls to work his magic. Can he do it? That's big. How big? It's going to be caught. It's going to be taken. Not big enough. Nathan McCullum. Most important thing there, it's a dot ball. And Australia only have one wicket up their sleeve, but White gets on strike. He was close to his arc, but he toe-ended toe it. It was just too wide for him to get in the middle of the bat on it, and so it went up. It just floated up. Nathan McCallum, I tell you what, he, I don't care what the situation is, he does not drop those. He had his head, he was placing, he was looking to place the ball around the park. He looked like he was cool, calm, and knew what he was doing. He was in form and he was hot. Anyway, that's all academic. Here's White. And that's Tim Sally again, too. Oh, my word. He runs him out. That would be the end of the innings. He didn't try. Hey, Tim Sally, how about this? How about that? But absolutely perfect. Well, is McCullum, Brennan McCullum, man of the match if New Zealand win? Of course he is. Or is Saudi? Is Tim Saudi? Well, if one super over can do it for you, then maybe he is. Four overs, none for 44 in regulation, and we're thinking about him as man of the match. Last ball, super over. And that'll only be one. They'll run again, and might as well. Hopkins will go, it's hit the batsman. He run the line of the throw, he's perfectly legal. You can do that, Brad Haddon. Protect the wickets you're running towards. Six off the over, and the love and Tim Southey, New Zealand, have got a royal, right royal opportunity here against Sean Tate to win this match. With the stiff handy. <laughs> Who's going to say he hasn't? Here's Tate. Seven to win from six. Chris Gaffney is having the time of his life. McCullum. Gets it behind point. It's going to have to scamper. That might have been close. Remember, Australia get two wickets, they win. And that might have been really close, Michael Clark. Decided to have a go at it. He knew he had cover. He knew the importance of an early wicket. Oh, it would have been touch and go. That would have been a dead heat. Yeah, Brendan McCullum knew it. So one from one. Good stuff, Sean Tate. Now the strategy, the field place has probably changed here. The thinking's got to change. Gupta will play. Gupta will look to play down the ground. And maybe go through cover. Oh, that's a shocker. Oh, my goodness. Not even close. 
Who's feeling it the most? What has happened here? Well, the first ball was a little rough as well. He's just holding on to it. He's obviously feeling the pressure. That is a shocker. <laughs> Hadn't did well to cut that off. Five from five. Five from five. A bonus for New Zealand there. And take the one. They can take a single. They've got McCullum at the other end. Chumping at the bit to have another go. Here's Tate. What can he come up with here? That was whitish too. That might have pushed the boundaries. Clark again. Misses. Another run out opportunity. Oh, and that was a crucial one. That would have been the makeup after the wide because that would have been a wicket and it also would have been a dot ball. He had time too here, Clark. And he's the type of guy that normally hits. He is such a good cricketer. Gutnell gave it everything. He had time to steady himself, take aim. It would have been out. Yeah, it would have. It would have, and I don't think it would have missed by much. Michael Clark doesn't miss very often. Now then, McCullum on strike. Four to win, four deliveries. Here we go. Gaffney calls it a wide. And they run one as well. McCullum put pressure on by taking the shot on. And Tate has not reacted well to the situation. Well, this ball looked to deflect. Let's have a close look at this because if he misses it, yeah. I think fair enough. I've seen I've seen closer ones than that call. Well, there's no argument from Australia to be fair. No argument whatsoever. Two to one from four balls now. He gets it over the top away. New Zealand have won behind point. It's a ripper from Gupto. Tate couldn't handle it. Too much width, too much pressure. And New Zealand. Well, they had it won once, they let it go, and they've won it again. What a day. Who would have thought, who would have thought that in that situation it would have been the Australians to get it completely wrong, to fold, to buckle under the pressure. New Zealand. Yeah.